this video you're going to learn how to test the hypothesis about two population means where the samples are independent. Uh, let's read the example and show you how uh, to go about doing this using the calculator. Again, you will use the calculator, you don't do any work by hand. At the local store, 65 female employees were randomly selected. It was found that their mean, mean monthly income was $4,570 with a standard deviation of 171.50. 75 male employees were also randomly selected and their mean monthly income was found to be 5,267 with a standard deviation of 168.70. Test the hypothesis that female employees have lower monthly income than male employees. So what do we have here? We have male and female. So female. Okay, how many females? So N1 is 65. Uh, what was their mean monthly income from the sample X bar? And since I have two X bars, so I call this one X bar 1, which is 4, 5, 7, 0. And the standard deviation S1 is 171.50. Let's go to the second one, male. I had 75, so N2 is 75. Uh, X2 bar is 5, 2, 6, 7. And S2, guys, is 168.70. Uh, we need to test that alpha equals 0 0.01. When you test two, uh, two means independent samples, your null and alternative hypothesis has to be one of the three scenarios, no other scenarios. So let me write the three scenarios. The first one, you call the population mean from the first population in mu1, and the second one is in mu2. mu1, mu2. So it could be equal, not equal. In the null, it's always equal. That does not change. Watch here. H O H A. Mu1 equals mu2, but mu1 here is less than mu2. And I think you should be able to know what the third choice is. Mu1 equals mu2. H A. Mu1 greater than mu2. Remember, I used one for female and two for male. So what is it that we're testing? Test the hypothesis that female, which is one, have a lower monthly income than male, which is two. So which one we're going to test where this is our mu1 is less than mu2. So I will write it down, guys. H-O, H-A, mu1 equals mu2. Mu1 is less and this is where my claim is. Okay, we'll go to the calculator. What is this? This is a two sample t test. Okay, remember that. It's always a two sample t test when you test two means with independent samples. So I'm gonna turn the calculator on. I'm gonna go to stat, tests, and it's number four, guys. Two sample t test, not z test, t test. Do we have a data or a summary of the data? We have a summary, so we choose the stats. Now he wants x1 bar, so let me just come back. x1 bar was what? 4, 5, 7, 0. Enter. s1 was 171.5, 0. N1, what was the sample size? 65. Enter. X2 bar is 5267. Uh, S2 is 168.7. N2, which is what? 75. Okay, mu1. Now we want to choose the uh, alternative hypothesis, which is less than. 
So I'm going to scroll. Enter. Now pull. Let me explain this to you. This is I forgot to mention here. So I'm going to just add another statement to the problem. Assume population variances are equal. I will put this in the exercise. When we say assume population variances are equal for pool, you choose yes. When we say assume population variances are not equal, you select no. And that statement will be given to you in the problem. So since I just stated that one, so I'm going to select yes here. Enter and calculate guys. And here's the test statistic. Uh, T, woo, it's uh, very large from the negative side, negative 24.193. P-value is almost zero as you can see here, which is definitely less than alpha. What's your decision when the p-value is less than alpha? You reject HO. If you reject HO and your claim is in the HA, you support your claim. So we're going to say there is enough evidence at the 0, 0.0, what was alpha in this exercise? 0 0.01 level of significance to support the claim that women have a lower income than men, female employees have a lower monthly income than men. That concludes the problem.